In this Meets review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Meets. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Meets. Meets is your new AI email scheduling assistant. This is what you should see once you've actually logged in or created your account. I'm gonna quickly go over every feature and then throughout the review, we're gonna dive deeper into each feature and see what they really do. So straight off the bat up here in the top left hand corner, you have the Meets AI logo. You can actually click on that, it is clickable. And if you do click on that, it should take you to the main page. Right below that, you have the dashboard section, which we are currently on. All the way to the right of that, you would have your account section, which is actually blurred out right now. And then in this main section is where everything will be happening. Back over to the left, you have your default meeting section. Right below that, you have your Laura customizations. Laura is actually the AI. Right below that you have your meeting tool integrations and then finally you have invite others if you have anyone else you want to invite through email right below that you have this big section right here saying how to use meets if you want to go ahead and click that if you don't know how to use it then you would go there finally all the way at the bottom we have the upgrade section we are currently on the free trial for meets However, you can actually go ahead and upgrade so you get more out of the Meets software. So moving forward, I'm going to go ahead and go through every feature in the main dashboard page and then we'll move through each part on the left hand side. So this is the main dashboard page. You got some little moving images going on here, some little gifts. You got this main text right here. No emails with Laura yet. This just means you haven't actually done anything yet. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can do anything and go through each feature. So like it says up here, we're on the main homepage. You can go ahead and also go to the meeting section right here. All the way to the right of that, you have the start date and end date. If you have any emails, you can go ahead and put in any dates right there by typing them. That's a cool feature in case you're looking for a certain date that you need and it would appear. Back over to the left, this is the home page, like I said. So we're going to go ahead and click on the meeting section. Once you click on the meeting section, again, there's nothing actually here at the moment. However, this is where any meetings would appear. Just like the home section, you can actually change the start and end date. However, on this one, you can also search by name. That's a cool feature because then if you're looking for anything specific, you can actually go ahead and search it by name if you know the name. It says there's no meetings here, so you can actually start emailing Laura and let's book some meetings for you. There's another little gift going on here. So let's go ahead and move through the features. Back all the way to the left, this says the default meeting section. If you go ahead and click on that, it should take you to this. Now this is actually the meeting section that you would set up. So right here you can select your time format, whether it's 24 hours AM slash PM, you can actually change the time zone, your working hours, working hours for prospect, default communication method, set up meeting length, buffer times in between meetings, minimum time for booking, amount of follow up per guest, and follow up delay. So scrolling back up to the top, we're gonna go ahead and go through this features and information and fill them in and create our default meeting section. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some of this information real quick right now. So you'd wanna go ahead and select or unselect this if you need it. And then right there, it says the time zone right there, Europe slash London. We're gonna go ahead and keep that the same. However, you can change this to tons and tons of different time zones. Right below that, you have your working hours. This is the meeting hours that you would want. You can go ahead and unselect any days that you wish from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday and Sunday. So there you go, we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on right now. Let's just take Friday off just for the sake of showing the feature. And then you can see the days are down here. You can go ahead and select any of these options right here to change the times from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. if you wish. We're gonna go ahead and just change one of these just to show one of the features. Let's say on Tuesday, it starts at 7 a.m. instead of 9 a.m. Moving on to the next section, working hours for a prospect. You can go ahead and you can actually change this right now. It does say it's locked, so we're gonna leave that for now. Default communication method next. You can actually go ahead and change the default communication method. Right now, there's only three to choose from. So you'd either pick Zoom, Google Meet, or even a phone call. We're gonna go ahead and just pick Zoom. And once you've actually picked Zoom, it should say whether you can actually integrate it, or you can even integrate Teams or a phone call. Because we're not on that section yet, I'm gonna go back and actually just leave it on Google Meet as the default. Next, we've got setting up meeting length. It's right now at 30 minutes. You can go ahead and change that to whatever you want. And then the buffer times is locked. Minimum time for booking, you can also change that and then amount of follow-ups per guest. These two are locked down here. 
all the way to the left moving back onto this section you can actually change customizations however this is an upgraded version it says available for premium so you can't actually do this if you are on the free trial like me however if you are upgraded you can actually rename your assistant's email default meeting title default meeting subscription and even an email signature from the AI. Moving all back away to the left, you can actually see that we're back on this section right now, which is where you can actually go ahead and integrate any terms of meeting tools that you wish. Currently, Google Meet is the default. However, if you wanted to integrate Zoom, you could go ahead and just click this button right here and click integrate. Same with Teams and same with a phone call. However, this just says connect. To the right of that, it does just give you Google Meet instructions and you can actually go ahead and disconnect that if you wish and you don't want to use Google Meet. There's a little instructions down here if you want to look through them and if you need any help. So once you click integrate Zoom, it should just go ahead and take you to the Zoom page. This is just where you'd go ahead and import your Zoom email and password and link it with Meets just like that. Pretty easy if I do say so myself. All the way back in this page, we've pretty much finished this area now. There's not too much going on other than able to connect a phone call, which would be pretty much the same as Zoom. Same with the Teams as well. Finally, all the way back to the left, moving on to this section, the Invite Others section, you can go ahead and actually invite others to enjoy Laura's personal assistance services. All you have to go and do is actually create your own team credit code, click save, and you can go ahead and send that to anyone if you wish. However, you have to pay for this code, so it should be in the premium version. Again, there's not really much going on here. There's just a little image, a little bit of text, and then just the code bit in the middle. Finally, how to use Meets, if you go ahead and click on that, it should take you to the Meets Help Center. This is good for the software in case no one actually knows what to do, so you can go ahead and just learn it easily by here. Pretty simplistic page, pretty easy to learn overall. Finally, the upgrade section is all the way down at the bottom. And that is pretty self-explanatory. You can go ahead and just click upgrade if you wish. And there you go. That is it for the Meets review. Overall, it is a great AI software and really well developed. The software page itself is really simplistic and really easy. A few features I liked is how you can actually develop your default meeting section. You can go ahead and just have a default section for each. So you don't have to go ahead and customize everything each time you have the AI assistant sends something out for you. Overall, the AI looks pretty well generated and pretty well integrated. And I also like how you can actually integrate different types of calls like Zoom and Teams. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. I would recommend it to anyone who's trying to run a business on the side and they don't actually have much time to do much themselves. I'd also recommend it to a team full of people since you can actually have a team code, which is a pretty useful feature. Overall, I think it's a great software. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.